There are several types of tests to help detect colon cancer, including the stool test for blood, sigmoidoscopy, stool test plus sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, and CT calligraphy. If you decide to get tested, you have several options to choose from. Compared to not being screened, all of the screening options can reduce deaths from colon cancer. We don't have studies that directly compare the different screening approaches in terms of their benefits and harms. Based on the evidence we do have, the screening approaches that appear most effective in reducing the chance of death from colon cancer are to have a colonoscopy every 10 years or to have a combination of a stool test for blood every three years and a flexible sigmoidoscopy every five years. Remember though, all of the screening tests are considered effective in reducing the likelihood of death from colon cancer. Effectiveness isn't the only thing to consider when making your decision. The tests differ in other ways too, including convenience, discomfort, or risks. The differences between the tests may be advantages or disadvantages depending on how you feel about them. People should be involved in making the decision about which screening tests they want to have because the screening tests vary by how often they're done, how uncomfortable or not they are, what the preparation is, and other factors. And people ought to be able to decide which test works best for them. It can take years for colon cancer to develop. That's why if you decide to be screened, you'll need to have it done on a regular basis. How often depends on which test you choose. In this video, we'll review each of the major screening tests for colon cancer. All of them are reasonable choices. Once you understand your options, you can make a more informed choice about which test you'd prefer, or if you'd prefer not to be tested at all.